Groundhog Day. I really, really show that. Doing this YouTube stuff. Because it's the same thing every day. Not really, but you know. Welcome. So on today's episode of the Sugar Chateau, we will uh, we will begin moving all of those pews out of the way. Here comes the old girl. What's up, old lady? And there she goes. Didn't even see me because she's almost blind now. We'll start moving all those pews out of the way and start replacing them with those pews. And those pews. And we'll try to do it all before the severe weather shows up. Because it's supposed to be ugly tonight. So for now, it's coffee on the porch. Just listen to the wildlife. And hang out with my buddy. All right, buddy. <laughs> first things first, fire up the tractor, put the forks on it, and uh, start moving the other pews. But I gotta get all YouTubed up first, so that's gonna add minutes to the day now. But hey, we got to show you all this stuff, right? So let's get that started. Let's get that. I think I'm going to GoPro this. Why not? So I don't know how long the battery will last on this GoPro. Nor uh, do I know how long it will take to do all this. I guess I'll have to get a chest mount so you guys don't have to do this the whole time. I'll try to keep my head still as we roll through this. Hey, look, it's me. I'm going to move the truck out of the way so I can get the tractor out and get the forks on it. And, uh... Get the other pews moved. Alright. I'm sure my parents are over there wondering what I've got on my head. I don't think you can see my mom from here. Maybe you can. My windmill. Isn't it cool? I like it. Got that from the Ward family. Shout out to the Wards. I guess, uh, I mean, I pretty much talk to myself all the time anyway. So I guess y'all just get to hear me talk to myself. So the tractor has a Bad starter on it. Uh, called the Kubota dealer. They wanted seven hundred dollars for a starter. It is Mitsubishi Mitsubishi starter. Looks like it's probably off of like an Eclipse or something. Um, I could probably find one cheaper, but I actually took it apart and cleaned it out as much as I could, and got it at least working enough to get us through till I can find another starter that is not seven hundred dollars. <laughs> But it will eventually start the tractor, so that's good.
my table from swapping the intake manifold on the old Ford. I got some more work to do, so I just left it. Fork number one. these babies down. Hi. That's full of whiskey. No, oh, just water. I guess I could speed this up for you guys somehow so y'all don't have to watch every minute of this tediousness. You probably even uh, you probably even just show you one and then pause it for the red. Hey look there's those are So I filled the other card up and uh, had to hop down and get another card. Lola, how did you get out? Alright, as long as you stay out of my way you'll be fine.
Yeah. You're on the YouTubes. I don't know. I'm not real to be on YouTube. That's the way we're doing it now. Huh? That's the way we're doing it now. Okay. Well, you got a lot to do a lot of editing, won't you? Oh yeah. Uh, let's get back to it. A little inception for you guys.
that's that. <laughs> oh, the COVID. I guess COVID. So that's that. But first, we did leave a lot of extra wood out here with these uh, pews. Oh, look, there's Lola. She's gonna help me out. She's gonna keep me safe from all the frogs and lizards. Let's so remove all this extra wood. Maybe we can piece some of those pews back together a little bit. Blow them up. Maybe actually paint them and salvage a few of them. They're in pretty bad shape. They did not survive two years. Which I was told if we didn't paint them would probably be the case. So you should always listen to people when they tell you. Oh good fire ants, yay. Put it on the list. Kill fire ants. Good grief, what is that thing? I don't know. Heavy duty, heavy duty. That's that. This guy is already starting to look ugly. We lost one of our kneelers yesterday, broke off transport not exactly the best way to transport these stacked up like this but man they were huge we were already gonna have to make two trips I didn't want to make three it's a long drive especially now that they've got 190 shut down let's see there's Bryce Good morning, Bryce. Are you pan? Yeah, Mama's gonna love this uh, early morning YouTubing. I can see how that's gonna go. You're gonna get a lot of ducking covers, at least for the first few weeks. I imagine she'll get used to it, and you'll get to see how pretty she is all the time instead of just when she goes out and gets all ready. Hey, old lady. What you doing? Can't get these straps to stay hooked for nothing when you're trying to strap them down, but when you're trying to unstrap them, they want to hook on everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. See if we can figure out a good way to get these pews out without damaging them too much or hurting myself or anything like that. 
straps What's up? Does that thing on my head look weird? You don't know what that is on my head? You want to see it? <laughs> Meatheads. I'm going to have to back this trailer up a little bit. Which means you guys got to go in the house, so come on. Alright, got all the pews moved. So now we have to uh, mow all this down. Clean it all up, because that's where they sit all the time. Underneath there are some concrete blocks that they normally sit on. So I get that all trimmed up, get that all mowed down, expose all the bricks, and then uh, get the straps and start unloading the white ones. Good morning. Say good morning, John. Good morning. Or I think it's afternoon. Afternoon. Yep, I'm super duper tired. I know I look it, but this is real life. Right, Josh? Mm -hmm. this At least we were up late. Reality. Exactly. Oh, I wish it was. But anyway, Joshua wants a video game. And so our big thing around here is what do you have to do when you want something, Joshua? You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. So today, Joshua, for the first time, is going to be doing what? Work. Well, no, you work, goofers. What are you going to be doing that you haven't done before, though? Mow. Mow. He's using a push mower, y'all. Ugh, push mower. Ugh. Okay, so. Don't we have to move those barrels? Yes, we have to move the barrels. So Joshua wants a video game. What's the name of the video game, Josh? Rust. Rust. Rusk or rust? Rust. Like rust on a machete. Oh, like rust on a machete. Anyway, so if you want something, you have to what, Joshua? Work for it. Work. You gotta work. So we so, gotta move these barrels. So you gotta move these barrels. Oh, hey. Do it. Ooh, so talented. Anyway, he had to move all these concrete blocks out of the way. Because they were under the pews, keeping them off the ground and stable, even. Anyway, so he had to move all those out of the grass. He's gonna use a, oop, there's a dozer. Hey, doze. We gotta move these planks as well out of the way. <clears throat> planks. Uh, yes, Josh. So, um, he's gonna use a mower, push mower for the first time today. So I figured it'd be good in case he wants to do lawns when he goes back to Houston. I was gonna do that, but then somebody stole the house that we were gonna get. Rude. That's all right, you can still do it again. Yeah. Do they have lawns in townhouses? Yeah, back lawns, oh, like back lawns. backyards, yeah. Maybe I should mow those. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's a gorgeous day. Dozer's wandering around. He kind of hangs out wherever we are. Dozy does. Everybody Dozy's loves- the most gorgeous thing out here. He is. He really is. Everybody loves Dozer. Everybody loves Dozer. Hi, sweet boy. He's giant. He's our That's majestic giant. Hi, Doze. That's why he's a Dozer. That's why he's a Dozer. We share him with our neighbors. Thank goodness they share him with us. We love him so much. Yep, so, look, Joshua, yep. Ooh, look at you. He's working for the rust. Working for the rust. They're super helpful though. They do stuff all the time for us. We're very thankful to have them around as much as we do. We love them dearly. Yay. Yay. 
Okay, Josh, so I'm about to teach him how to start a mower. Sorry, I know I'm kind of shaky, y'all. Okay, Joshua, so with this mower, you have to hold the red handle down. And wasp. And wasp. There's a wasp right there. Oh, there is? Yeah. Where? He's right there. And he's right behind uh -huh. me. Okay, so Josh, hold the red handle down. You have to have that engaged and like holding like that to start the mower. If you let that go, it automatically stops. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so you can't hurt yourself, okay? Because the lawnmower won't be going and you're like, oh, let me grab this by the mower and chop my finger off. So, <coughs> Joshua, you see that handle right there? The yep, pull it. And then it starts. Pull it, yep. It doesn't pull you though, it, but if you let go of that handle, it will stop. Okay. Okay, you ready? He's got this. Ooh, that breeze feels lovely. Ready, and pull it hard. That is not gonna start it, dude. Pull it hard. All right, pull it hard. We have a tour, so pause. So we're now officially in rain delay. It got here earlier than uh, than they said it would. I thought we weren't supposed to get the bad stuff till tonight. So we're on pause. That's a nice breeze. Yeah. 
More rain delay. Hanging out on the porch with the green. Still pretty stormy. The rest of the day's a wash. Tuesday is pretty much over. So we'll make up some chicken. Grill up some yard bird and uh, call it a night. See you tomorrow.